Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review and next up is the Hasbro Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. This is the Great Protector. Now who this dragon is in the movie, we don't know. We don't have the context of anything. All we know is that there is a white and red dragon apparently because we have toys. So here we have this basic figure. It is $19.99 for this guy. I had posted um, Instagram link. I think it, the an Amazon link on Instagram and I believe it sold out actually on Amazon. Um, I bought mine at Target. They did not have it on the shelf. I had to ask for it and they do not have it available on Target.com to be able to do like a store pickup or anything like that. Uh, but if you are interested, the Target DPCI is 0871621170. You give that to a Target employee, they will be able to check to see if they have it in stock because chances are, you know, the store hasn't done the reset and it's just sitting in the back. Um, so you can get it. So I'm curious how this figure is going to be. It is very cheap feeling um, because it was only 20 bucks. So it's a very basic figure. I don't expect a whole lot from it. But some of the things uh, that are cool it can get down on all fours or it can stand up on its two back legs. Um, so we'll just kind of see. I don't know what the dragon is in the movie. Is it Fin Fang Foom? And they changed up the colors and things. We don't know. We shall see. Um, but... Um, I am curious to see what this dragon is going to be like and for this video we will actually do a comparison We will see how the great protector compares to none other than the Marvel Legends build a figure Finn Fang Fu Okay, real quick before I show you the figure the the brief super brief bio on the back says the great protector Rises up to battle the forces of evil. So this is a good dragon Not a bad dragon. So I don't know what's going on, but let's check out the figure Okay, so here is the Great Protector Dragon out of the box, and he is pretty cool. Extremely limited on articulation, um, cheap feeling in the texture of the plastic, very little paint apps, um, but that's kind of to be expected when we have a basic figure that is only $20 for something of this size. So he has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six points of articulation, I would say. Um, so again, really basic, and you can't really do a whole lot in certain poses. So when earlier I had said, oh, you can get him down on all fours, or he can go on his two back legs. Um, basically, this is all you're going to be able to do when standing, is get him into this particular pose with the way the feet are. They're sculpted um, to be in this specific position, uh, flat-footed. So you're not going to get it to do really anything else. Now, in terms of getting him onto all fours, you know, you have to look at uh, the foot situation as well on how you could do that. And then his neck is articulated there. The tail is articulated as well. So you could do that and get him down onto all fours like so. So that is pretty cool. But again, extremely limited because that's really all that you're able to do with him because of the positioning of the feet. Now, had they had one point of articulation at like the ankle, um, it would have made a huge difference on what you could do. But unfortunately, we don't have that. Again, there's no way to expect something like that from you know um, a child's toy because this is not part of a collectible line in any way. I thought it was interesting and I'm hoping the dragon does um, actually show in the movie and that this isn't just a random ass toy that Hasbro created. I'm sure there's some form of this dragon, the great protector in the movie. Now whether we actually see an actual dragon or if it's part of a flashback or uh, part of a story or whatever the case may be, what how it fits into the context of the film, we shall see. But I am very curious at kind of how, how that is going to happen in the movie and how we're going to see it and um <clears throat> are we going to see this dragon in action because you know we we really just don't know so time will tell but let's see how he looks compared to fin fang foom and just to be clear i do not think this is actually like the mcu version of fin fang foom but i could be wrong so it's nice to just kind of speculate and see how this dragon might compare to a dragon that we could see or if it happens to be the same dragon so let's check it out Okay, so I have like no space on my review station um, and everything and I am sitting so far back like I can't even reach the figures without bumping into the camera. Uh, but here is the size comparison between the Great uh, Protector and Fin Fang Foom. This is the authentic Build-A-Figure um, and he is 
such an amazing figure. I highly recommend if you're able to and capable of getting your hands on an authentic one, um, I do highly recommend it because this thing is a beast of a figure. We will never ever see a build a figure like this again. Maybe we'll get the deluxe box set or box versions like Modoc. Uh, fin Fang Foom, I would imagine, would be more than a $50 figure. Um, maybe we'll see a Fin Fang Foom somewhere down the line. I, I don't think so. Um, but it would be cool to see, but this thing is just absolutely amazing. Um, next to the Great Protector, the Great Protector is garbage, but, um, again, in the context of the movie, how is it going to be? Um, I think it'll look really good with the other movie figures from the Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, which I will show you guys all the movie figures with, um, the Great Protector there. I just wanted to show, um, this comparison um, again, is the Great Protector supposed to be Fin Fang Foom or the same alien species as Fin Fang Foom? I, I doubt it. I don't think so. But it's hard to imagine based off of speculation and everything, which is horrible, right? We shouldn't do it because we don't know. But like the Ten Rings, you know, it, Wen Wu has um, the Ten Rings. He has them on his wrist, so they're more bracelet-like, right? So... Is it because those rings would fit on the fingers of a dragon? Maybe, because, I, I mean, the rings being actual rings in the comics that came from Fin Fang Foom um, seem kind of odd, right? The little tiny rings, how the hell is a big-ass dragon going to have those rings? Um, so that could be one thing, you know, we really don't, we really don't know, um, but we shall see. So who knows, but Great Protector of Fin Fang Foom, there is absolutely no comparison. He is not a good stand-in or anything like that. If you can, get a Fin Fang Foom. Again, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. So now let's take a closer look at the details of the Great Protector because the head sculpt on this guy does actually look really, really cool. Okay, so here is the zoomed in look at the Great Protector head sculpt, and that looks really, really nice. We actually get some nice sculpted scales in there. It's not super detailed, uh, but you do get some in there. And here's where we see the little tiny bit of paint apps on this figure, so his eyeball. Not super detailed, but you see a little bit um, of paint in there for the eye, and then we kind of get this airbrush shading effect for the eyebrow of the red as it kind of fades back into the light bluish gray of the scales of his skin tone. Um, so that looks pretty good, and you can see there an articulated jaw would have been awesome, but we didn't get that. We kind of get this rubbery feel for the head, as you can see, it kind of squeezes around based on um, the scales and that. I don't know if this is hair or what portion of you know a dragon that would be, and you can see it's kind of hollow in there, and you can move it around. Uh, the ball is on a the head is on a ball joint, so you can kind of move it around, and there is a hinge. So again, if you have the dragon like this, you can do that. Um, and just move it right back there, but you get some pivot and stuff going on it So that is pretty cool one thing on Instagram. I saw that somebody said they were gonna make a custom Falcor um, Out of it, and I think that would be really cool if you've seen the never-ending story um, It's that dog dragon thing um, and I could totally see this thing kind of representing that because like the, 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 the Shape of the body and everything it would almost be like perfect for Falcor I mean, just look at it, the scale wise, that's pretty cool. Now, one thing also that I noticed, this guy does not have wings like Fin Fang Foom has wings. So there's also that that's basically proving that this guy, no way can he be Fin Fang Foom. But again, he looks cool. Uh, before I show you guys the Great Protector with the other movie figures, I just wanted to do one last close-up uh, between the two. So we have the Great Protector and Fin Fang Foom. And you can see that they have a very large difference in design um, of the dragon where I guess this the the great protector is kind of one of those dragons where you see um, a traditional like Chinese artwork and how a dragon um, would be would be drawn whereas Fin Fang Foom um, is kind of an over stylized or particular stylized type of dragon um, so it's just, it's, it's kind of interesting. I mean, again, we shall see when the movie releases September 3rd or whenever the release date is, um, before we really know kind of what's going on in that movie. And if Fin Fang Foom is even in it, or if the great protector happens to be Fin Fang Foom, again, I, I don't, I don't think that's going to be the case. Okay, and here is the Great Protector along with the other movie figures from 
the Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. We have Shang-Chi himself, Shai Ling, Death Dealer, Wen Wu, a.k.a. the Mandarin, and, of course, the Target exclusive Marvel Legends, uh, Marvel's Katie, the Aquafina character from the movie. Uh, so the dragon looks good next to the other movie figures. Again, very basic figure, 20 bucks. Is it worth 20 bucks? Yeah, I would say so. Um, it's not going to do anything, so don't have high expectations of it. Uh, but in a Shang-Chi display, he's going to look pretty cool. Now, how the dragon will look in the movie, um, will we actually see him in the movie, how all of that will work, um, time will tell and we shall see. But I am curious. I'm excited. Um, I can't wait for September to roll around and we see the movie um, because it's been delayed, all these delays in the MCU. But, you know, with the Disney Plus shows, the MCU is back. Uh, Black Widow comes out in July, Shang-Chi in September, and then Eternals in November. I'm getting very excited. Lots of MCU figures coming um, this year. Uh, so it's just another nice addition to have in the collection. Not sure kind of how I'm going to display it. Um, I might figure out something. You know, I, I, I do some of those things from time to time. Like I have the Titan Hero series Ant-Man that, that kind of passes my giant man from Ant-Man and the Wasp. So things like that. Um, but I'm happy with it for 20 bucks. I really can't complain all that much. So again, we shall see. But you guys let me know down in the comments below. What's your theory? Is the crate protector going to be Fin Fang Foom? Again, I don't think so. It's on the, the box. It says he fights the forces of evil. Fin Fang Foom is a villain. Um, but you never know what, what they might be doing. To, so you guys let me know down in the comments below your thoughts and theories on that. Um, what do you think of the Great Protector figure? Is it something that you picked up or are looking to pick up? Um, let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.